Um, so roughly like that. So you should have something similar to that now. We'll go back to this, as you can see. Um, and also you can just get rid of this bits out of this. This is really just for the ends, the more, the more detail when they're kind of fading off like that. And when they're fading off the white and like that. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, so now it's a step to actually create this uh, white kind of flow kind of part, kind of like kind of kind of merging with the the tail of this. So what we need to do now uh, is get a the flow rough about a like I had before, and an a razor. And simply as that, just to erase uh, sections away. First off, we want to probably create a uh, a mask for the whole group, so we can erase the whole group at first. So we're going to create a new group. We're going to call this the 7 group, and we're going to drop everything but the background in this group. Um, and we're going to, it's going to create a mask on top of that. So this, what this mask is going to do is going to, it's going to, um, we're going to block some parts of the thing by painting it black, and we can allow it to paint white. So we're going to get the uh, the paint brush out. We're going to paint in black. And as you can see, I can erase the whole, every single layer, including the shadow, with that, with that uh, thing. So we're just going to, going to get a nice big brush, drop the flow again down a bit. Uh, and just start painting away like that. We need it more, so you can just get that kind of feathered kind of look going into it. And same for the bottom down here as well. Um, and now that with that done, we need to make um, personal paths for the white, the white seven. So we'll select the white seven layer again, and we'll make another another mask. And we want to get a smaller brush this time, rough about the same thing. And we're going to create these kind of highlights going off into the thing. So we're just we're gonna just up painting away at some of the uh let's probably we'll cr probably create a bigger brush for this because we need it just a bit bigger. We'll start yeah getting rid of that and we'll pull in here as well. We'll go back to this one and make it just a tad bit more get a bigger brush so they fade in a bit further. Okay, so that looks pretty good now. So we want to just add just a bit more highlights at these uh these uh lens flares, and we're just gonna go do one manually, so do it really quickly like that. Create a new layer. We'll go to out of the uh, group first. I'll so we'll just delete that. Uh, yeah. I'll go just avoid that. Create a new layer. Just get the marquee tool. Uh, roughly the circle eclipse tool. Roughly make a holding shift. Roughly make a a round circle, but about that size, depending on whatever. Fill it in with a light background color to what you're about to apply it to. So I'm gonna apply it to a green, so I'm gonna apply it a bit more light green than that. And uh apply a green like that. Um so something similar to what we've got over here. These are the the ones over here. Um and then we can add more effects to them. Um so we'll, first of all we'll get it positioned. So we're we'll just gonna drag it down over there. And we want to Double click layer again, and we're going to drop the fill down a bit. So they see the fills going down. We're going to put an inner glow. We're going to change the color to something similar to what you had before, a bit lighter. Uh, change to normal. Uh, and just kind of pull the size a bit up. We'll make it a bit lighter because it's getting a bit funny green there. Yeah, that looks perfect there. So we've made it kind of fade in a bit. Uh, I'm just going to drop the opacity down of this. And we're just going to duplicate this. Um, so, we'll Control J, couple them. We'll pull one over there. C control T, change the size of it. Uh, oops. Let's put that over there. And we'll go down to this one. Control T. Uh, we'll put it over there. Just move this one. Now we'll go over here, create the same thing, so we'll get the duplicate that and pull it up. As you can see it's green, so we need to change the color of this. We're just gonna go quickly change it to yellow, so roughly in there somewhere. Um we need a color overlay, we'll change it to yellow. This is an SV more yellow. So kind of a white kind of Beige yellow would do. Yeah. 
compared to this one, we'll go back, so we have two, so we're going to make this a tad bigger, and we're going to make it a bit more brighter as well, so we're going to duplicate this layer and leave it there, so Control j to make it a bit brighter, Control j again, have a second one, it's really f good and as fast as to get these finishing, finishing touches done. So okay, so we want to go back to uh, one of these ones, yeah, the, the big one over here, I'm just going to go and create create some more sty styles to it, so we're going to go in the glow, bump the size up that, we'll make it more wide actually to make it that. Um, and then we're going to go create an outer glow on it, screen, change it to normal, change it to white. Uh, we'll just crank the size up quite a lot, you just want a nice glow kind of radiance coming out of it, like that. Um, 161, so just roughly, I'm doing this really rough, just pretty, pretty much depending on what weight, how you want it. It's all fine. Uh, we'll crank the capacity down a tiny bit, smidge on it. Okay, so there you go, guys. Um, this is a short, well, not really short, it's quite long actually, tutorial on how to uh, create Windows 7 background. So I hope you guys li liked it. I'm having more soon. Um, backgrounds are just abstract. I know you guys like abstract, so we're going to get some of those backgrounds out soon. So yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. So And also, yeah, sorry for the length of this video. I didn't really think it was this long. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.